Hi, I'm Stuart Rogers, co-founder of Badass Empire with Victoria Loskatova, and this is Badass School. Um, now, this week, going to change things up a little bit. Um, we've all been in lockdown for a little while, and while some countries are starting to ease up, there's still lots of opportunity for you to use the time that you have right now, and use it in some really cool and interesting and educational ways. Um, obviously, we've been trying to educate you as much as possible here at Badass School and also over on Badass Summit. Um, but there's lots of other ways you can educate yourself. And so what I wanted to do today was really take you through some of my favorite apps um, that will help you teach yourself things with this time that uh, you may have available to you um, that you might not have tackled before. Um, so let's get straight into it. Now, when things do open up, or even if they don't, um, you know, even if we get into a situation where we're having to do business with each other across email and Zoom calls and Jitsi and, uh, you know, every other type of uh, video communication app, um, you know, it is useful to even know a few words of other people's languages. It helps to put them at ease, um, even if you don't learn the language fluently. Um, and especially the, the business version of the language as well, if you're doing business in other languages, um, you know, that can take a long time. Um, at least showing that you've made an effort can make all of the difference. Um, so what can you use? Well, on Android and Apple, um, you've got Duolingo. Uh, Duolingo is probably my favorite language learning app. It's uh, definitely supported me in terms of learning all sorts of different languages. Um, if uh, you go to Duolingo, you'll find that it's, it's a really interactive learning style. Um, and it's quite gamified. It's a little bit like a, like a game and you get to you know, take yourself through it. There's lots of different ways of learning. Um, it fires off all the different parts of your brain in different ways so that the language comes in, uh, comes to you quicker than it normally would do. Um, Duolingo has been on my radar for a long time. Uh, I know Tim Ferriss is a big fan and he's uh, actually invested in it and he covered it in his uh, four hour body book. Um, but uh, yeah, apart from Duolingo, uh, I have friends that also swear by Memrise, which is another gamified language learning app. Um, and the other one to look out for is Pimsleur. Um, Pimsleur is also really good. The, the, the Pimsleur um, app is something that uh, you can just use on your, on your browser. Um, lots of really good videos. And it's the kind of uh, language learning that's a little bit more traditional where you're basically listening to something and then you're saying it back. And they make you do it in a very repetitious way. And they make you do it in a certain way that it sticks in your brain a lot more. Um, so Duolingo, uh, Memrise, and Pimsleur, those are all great for language learning. Um, of course, you know I'm always telling people to be creative and have fun. Um, and part of that is music. Music is super important. And uh, music actually fires off all sorts of different parts of your brain, uh, putting you at ease, uh, making you think clearer. Um, it actually... Uh, music and, and singing in particular um, fires off uh, all sorts of neurotransmitters in your body, uh, including oxytocin um, and including serotonin um, and including some beta endorphins, which makes you feel happy and makes you, uh, you know, feel much better about uh, everything that's going on in your world. Um, so, one great way to learn how to play, um, if you've got a keyboard and you've always wanted to learn how to play piano, um, on Android and Apple, you can download Simply Piano. Simply Piano is a, a really cool app that uh, teaches you, and it uses the microphone in your smartphone to listen to what you're playing and then give you feedback, which is a really smart way of uh, using the, the microphone on your smartphone. Um, it's got lots of different things uh, within it. Um, there's only, unfortunately, two courses for free, and then you have to pay for it to get the rest. But it's worth going and checking it out, and if you really like it and you're getting on with Simply Piano, then, of course, subscribing is a great idea. Um, you can also use Scoove, um, and you can use Piano by Musician. They're all very similar to each other, uh, but they're all worth checking out. Um, another great way of making use of the time is, you know, not just educating yourself with apps, but educating others. Um, and a great way to do that is to create your own podcast and learn all about podcasting. Um, on Badass Summit, of course, you've got a fantastic episode, a uh, fantastic speech with Travis Wright, who has created some of the most incredibly popular podcasts. So definitely go and listen to that. Uh, that's over on badasssummit.com. 
Um, but uh, if you want to create your own podcast, I really recommend Anchor. So Anchor is actually owned by Spotify. Um, so that's a really good start. Um, but basically, it's it's focused on podcasts um, and it's focused on making podcasts. So you can set it all up and you can record, you can edit, um, you can add soundtracks, and then you can publish them to not just Anchor, but the various different podcasting services so that people who are using Apple iTunes and so on and so forth uh, can actually listen to what you have to say. Um, if you want to also look at something else, there's Podcast Studio by Spreaker. Um, that's S P R. E-A-K-E-R. Um, so check those out. Um, of course, we're all reading a lot and trying to educate ourselves that way, but uh, you know, I don't know about you, but I've been recommended a huge amount of books to get through, um, and there just isn't a huge amount of time to do that. Uh, there's way too many books and not enough time. Um, so for that, I recommend Blinkist. Now what Blinkist is, it's kind of like a 2020 version of Cliff Notes. Uh, basically, um, Blinkist is super clever because it takes uh, the essence of a book, no matter how big it is, and it reduces that down to like a 15 minute audio book. Um, and if you don't like audio books that much, if you're not into listening to the books, you can still read everything that's in that 15 minutes. And they have um, just an amazing amount of content on there. Um, I would totally recommend Blinkist. Um, and another great way to get uh, some, you know, awesome summaries of books was story shots. Um, so, you know, I think both of those together will give you the access to a lot of uh, educational material, um, but without having to read through the entire thing. So, definitely recommend those. Um, of course, uh, if you're uh, not like me at all, uh, you might have an opportunity if you've got a garden to get out there and do some gardening. Um, I'm not the person to speak about that, but um, there is an app called Candied Gardening, which is on Android and Apple, um, and it will teach you all about identifying plants, um, providing uh, all sorts of gardening guides, help you to make the best out of your garden. It's a great way to de-stress because, of course, you're reconnecting with nature, which I'm always talking about all the time. Um, the other thing you can use if you've got... Uh, Android phone, and I think uh, it might still be available from Google for uh, iPhones as well, is uh, for a lot of Android phones, you've got Google Lens, um, which is built into the camera and built into Google Photos. Um, if you don't know what a plant is, you can point Google Lens or put, you know, point your camera at it, click the Google Lens button, it will identify the plant and then give you all the information on it and you can find out how to look after it. So uh, that's uh, something you can do to get out into nature and make it feel like you're, you're doing something, uh, getting your hands dirty a little bit, having some fun. Um, of course, art is great and uh, a great way to have a look at creating some art, but in a really interesting and uh, wonderful way is to use Sketch AR. Now, you know, if you're not an artist, uh, that's okay. I mean, it could be quite daunting for you to sit down with a blank piece of paper and some pens or pencils or paints and produce something. Uh, but Sketch AR is really interesting because it uses augmented reality to teach you how to draw. Um, so it will actually help you to understand the basics of drawing and painting. Um, it does it using augmented reality. It's really smart. It's a lot of fun. It's available again on Android and Apple, and as with most of the other apps here, um, it's free to begin with, and then you can get a subscription to unlock all sorts of uh, you know extra topics. Um, but uh, I really recommend Sketch AR. It's a lot of fun. Um, it will get you into doing art and teach you the, the fundamentals of creating things. Um, there's also another one called Da Vinci Eye, which is similar, um, and so you know I would definitely recommend those for sure. So, look, those are some of the ways that you can use different apps, uh, both on Apple, Android, and websites as well, to find ways to make better use of your time to educate yourself. You know, the key thing is to remember some of the tenets that uh, I've covered beforehand, which is if you're going to keep yourself mentally strong, um, if you're going to, you know, use your time in a, in a really cool way, um, then, you know, things like getting into nature, um, being a child, having fun, creativity, all of those things 
if you mix those into your day and not just work all the time, you'll find that your brain is clearer, you'll be happier, you'll be mentally stronger. And of course, uh, in you know these strange times that we're in right now, that's super important. But once we get beyond these, uh, you know, these times into a, a post-COVID-19 society, still going to be as important. Um, it's still going to be super important for you to do all these things. So make use of these apps, educate yourself. Um, remember, if you want to continue to educate yourself beyond Badass School, go to badasssummit.com. We've got 28 amazing speakers there for you. Um, it, uh, it runs uh, all the time, um, but if you can't wait, you can get yourself an all-access pass. And uh, if you're one of the patrons, and again, thanks for being our patron, uh, if you're one of the patrons that is at a certain level where you can get the discount voucher for that all-access pass, it's really, really worth it. Um, you know, we're just trying to make everything as cost-effective for you as possible. So head over to BadassSummit.com and check that out. And uh, we'll see you back here soon on Badass School for even more education and hopefully some entertainment. Thanks so much.